Shalom brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Continuing with uh, the Targum, the pseudo Jonathan, chapter 2, or in Genesis chapter 2. Thus the creatures of the heavens and of the earth and all their hosts were completed. And on the seventh day Elohim completed the work which he had done and the ten things he had created at twilight. He, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work which he had done. Elohim blessed the seventh day more than all the days of the week. And he sanctified it, because on it he rested from all his work, which Elohim had created and was to do. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created. When Yahuwah Elohim made the earth and the heavens, and no trees of the field were yet on the earth, and no plants of the field had yet sprouted, because Yahuwah Elohim had not sent rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the soil, but a cloud of glory came down from beneath. Oh, a cloud of glory came down from beneath the throne of glory and was filled with water from the ocean went up again from the earth and sent rain down and water and watered the whole surface of the ground Yahuwah Elohim created Adam with two inclinations and he took dust from the site of the sanctuary and from the four winds of the world and a mixture of all the waters from of the world and created him red black and white <laughs> and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the breath became the body of adam a spirit capable of speech to give light to the eyes and to give hearing to the ears before the creation of the world a garden had been planted by the memra of yahuwah elohim from eden for the righteous and he made adam dwell there when he created him and Yahuwah Elohim caused to grow from the ground every tree that is desirable to see and good to eat. And the tree of life in the middle of the garden whose height was a journey of 500 years. Wow. And the tree whose fruit enabled those who eat it to distinguish good and and evil a river goes out from eden to water the garden and from there it divides and becomes four river heads the name of one is pishon and it is the one that encircles the whole land of india where there is gold. The gold of that land is choice. Delium is there, and precious stones of barely, beryl. The name of the second river of is Gihon. It is the one that encircles the whole land of Cush. The name of the third river is Tigris. It is the one that flows to the east of Ashushur. 
and the fourth river is the Euphrates. Yahuwah Elohim took Adam from the mountain of worship, the place where whence he had been created, and made him dwell in the Garden of Eden to labor in the law and to keep its commandments. And Yahuwah Elohim commanded Adam, saying, You may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of which those who eat its fruit have the wisdom to distinguish good and evil, you shall not eat. Because on the day on which you eat of it, you shall incur the death penalty. And Yahuwah Elohim said, It is not right that Adam should sleep alone. I will make for him a woman, he or who will be a support alongside him. So Yahuwah Elohim created from the ground every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens and brought them to Adam to see what the name he would call him them. And whatever Adam called each living creature, that was its name. And Adam gave its names. And Adam gave their names to all the cattle and to all the birds of the heavens. And to all the beasts of the field. But for Adam, no support alongside him was yet found. Yahuwah Elohim cast a deep sleep upon Adam. Adam and he slept and he took one of his ribs it was the 13th rib of the third on the right side it was the 13th rib on the right side and he closed its place with flesh and Yahuwah Elohim built the rib he had taken from Adam into a woman and brought her to Adam and Adam said this time but never again will woman be created from man as this one had been created from me bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh it is fitting to call this one woman for she has been taken from man Therefore, a man shall leave and be separated from the bedroom of his father and of his mother, and he shall be united to his wife, and the two of them shall and, and wife and the two of them shall become one flesh. And the two of them were wise, Adam and his wife, but they did not remain in their glory. Wow, that is chapter 2. Brothers and sisters, continuing with this series. Coming back soon. Shalom.